Good morning everyone, it's Rita here and we are going to work on the uh, Trash to Treasure Junk Journal, which is, I just, every time I open it, I, I forget what I put in it and I love to go through it again. So I'm going to try to get some other things done and then I think I'll be finished. Um, I did put this little uh, lace here, crocheted lace and a, a, a um, label kind of thing and a rusty safe uh, straight gosh I can't talk it's too early uh, paper clip on there and I think now it, it has enough on the on the cover to to look good so um, the first thing before we start this because I was thinking I need a tag for some somewhere I need a tag and um, I need maybe a pocket Oh yeah, that doesn't go in there, but <laughs> I was going to do something with it. So, um, I'm going to show you what I've found, um, how to take napkins and make them strong. I'm not going to use this napkin in here, but I want to show you how to do it. <clears throat> so you need a nice iron, hot, like on linen, wool, cotton, one of those. And then you need freezer paper, which is, um, I have Reynolds wrap, and uh, I have a huge one, It's because I, I used to use this all the time for all my applique work and stuff like that. Oh, you can even wrap packages. Huh. Anyway, um, so yeah, I used it for a long time. And then you, hold on, let me get some, hold that down. You need um, some parchment paper because this will get on your iron if you um, just iron it without anything. Okay, so basically, <clears throat> I should have brought a drink in. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Um, this happens every day. All right, so there is a shiny side got to tell you that there is a shiny side and that's what we're going to hear the napkin to is the shiny side we're going to melt the napkin the this uh, plastic um, onto this napkin which will make this firm like paper the other side of the paper is perfectly um, writable let me see I'll just see so the other side is also um, a, a side that you can write on. It doesn't want to raise very well. I think it's on that pad, so it's okay. We're not going to use it probably. Okay, so <clears throat> I should take a break and go get a drink. So I'm going to line this up, and um, I haven't tested this before, so I do hope it works. <clears throat> now, when I used to do it on fabric, on uh, applique, I could use this um, piece of um, paper over and over. But, because we're going to, I hope this will move on this, yeah, okay. But because we're just going to iron it down, I've been wanting to share this for a while. I just haven't had the opportunity to and my iron is a vintage iron and um, it gets really hot so that's a good thing because you want it to melt the little um, steam irons they'll work because I used to use those all the time okay so see it's it's adhered, but maybe up here it needs a little more. And you can always go back later. Okay, so then it just comes out, it almost looks like regular paper. But, um, and if you did a whole sheet, you can make uh, envelopes or pockets. Uh, like this, I could make a pocket, which, um, I think would be cool. So I'm just gonna 
I'm not going to cut right close to this. I'm just going to get rid of it so it's not on the Yeah, I think this will be great for, um, you know, if you don't have a digital kit um, or you're making something that you don't want to use digital kits, then there you go. And the paper on the back, you could probably press it on the back too just to make sure. Cool. Gosh, it's like it doesn't even resemble a napkin at all anymore. Okay, so that's that. So I wanted to try it. What started me thinking on this is um, kind of wanted to use an old book page on um, this darn stuff. They should roll it the opposite direction. <laughs> but I guess if you're wrapping up meat, because that's what it's for. Uh, what am I looking for now? I can't find it. Oh. I was going to do a book page, and um, so many of our pages are really brittle. I don't think this is that brittle, but it still will show you. I'm trying to think. Do I? I yeah, I don't know where. It, yeah, I have a brittle one over here that I really like. Okay, so I'm just going to lay that on top of that. So if you have a book page that's so brittle, but you love the the look of the book page, you can do it like this. Of course, you're going to have a white back, but, you know, if you use it in collage or something like that, or, yeah, it's on there. <laughs> this is so cool. So this, you know, I could fold it up and make a pocket, and I might, or a tag. It's not quite heavy enough for a tag, but you probably could take this and put another layer. And then you would even have a stronger page, don't you think? Let's do that. Um, I'm not sure if I want to make a tag or a pocket. Now well, let's just move that. But you could probably get um, several book pages and go across and do a lot at once. And then I'm going to show you another technique too with, um, not with freezer paper, but spray starch as soon as I ever get the spray starch. But I need to make it with... Um, I might do it before the end of the day because I've got my iron and stuff out. Yeah, now that makes a good size tag. And it's sturdy. Nice and sturdy. Yeah, I like that. You could probably coffee dye this also. Um, I don't think I have any coffee in here to try it. I used to have a spray bottle with coffee, I think. I don't have it right now. Okay. We have this little piece left. Um, I'm trying to think of something I could put on there that would be helpful. I have this little bit of napkin. Um, which you could do this and what do I do with the other things? I'll put it over here. Um, and use it for you could punch out circles or you could, you know, if it matches whatever it is you're making. Or it's a you know the same theme. Just does it so quick too. Didn't pick anything there. So now you can make a tab, punch a tab, anything. 
Okay, so now I've got this piece left here, so I'm going to try something that um, I haven't tried before. Well, I haven't tried any of this before. I wish I could get this to stay flat. Oops, this doesn't talk. I guess I could probably tape it down. Um, as long as I don't iron it all the way to the tape. Okay, so I have... My thought was... Could I iron down? Well, I didn't mean to get that all tangled. Um, like a floral like this. Actually, I think I wanted to put this like underneath. Texture. Oops, I don't know if this will work, but the other way that I want to try, I think it will work. Okay, and so I have some petals here left over. I'm afraid that's going to be too thick. Okay, this is... Um, gauze and I pulled it apart so it would be really thin. I don't know if it needs the flowers or not. Basically want to see if it'll work. Maybe not so many. Maybe just a... There we go. Now I'm going to take the back of that napkin and put it on top and we'll see what ha if it shows through or what I don't know the worst that can happen is it doesn't work right Because I know fabric sticks to it, but fabric will come off. I mean, it pulls away. So that's... I thought if I embed that into this napkin... Okay. I'm going to flip it over. see what happened and it's not all stuck on but it didn't it didn't show through let me see if I I thought it might show through hmm it's scorching it <laughs> it's not it smells good yeah, it's not going to work on that. Isn't that weird, though? I thought it might. Um, let me get a little pick, uh, pick can here. everybody's well and staying warm. It's chilly here this morning, like 28. And I've got to oh, take my trash to the 
dumpster thing. And I don't want to. But I have been cleaning house, so I've got a lot of extra bags of boxes. and I had so many boxes in my closet. You know, those um, HP inks. that perfect but, yeah it's, it's not good enough okay well I thought I'd give it a try and see what happens I thought it was but the next one I'm gonna do I could probably use this now that I think about it um, it is with, um, I'm going to be using starch and then this will be layered inside. So I'll, I'll have to get all that ready to share. So let me put this away here. Okay. So that was fun. Um, turn this off in case I hurt myself. I can't even get in the oven anymore without um, messing up my, without touching something. All right, so we've got this, and I thought I would make a tag out of it, or let's see what we can do. Where was that place I needed a? Seemed like it was pretty tall. Oh, here. Okay. Yeah, I thought I would um, I'll close this off and we'll make a tag to, to go in there. The giant rats. Yuck. I don't even know what this book is about. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so this one, let me just take this out for a minute. Because um, this is the one, I'm going to glue this all together here. And this one needs to be covered. And this one needs to be a journal page. And... paper here I left over. I think I'll put something down the inside of this. Um, I can use my my new paper. Well, that is and so it probably inks okay I'm just going to stick that in there Let me get my glue stick glue book so proud of myself yesterday I I just got so much done I worked on the um, after the video um, I start working on the journal pages I got it sewed in and so I'm really glad about that
glue stick. I was watching somebody from this morning on YouTube. I need to get a new page. And, um, you know how we get this junk mail, and they have this stuff inside, you know, the blue lines or whatever it is. And she was taking hers apart and opening them up and using the, that side of the, instead of using this garbage side, she was using the good side. All right. This away. Whoops. I really needed to trim this away anyway because it was kind of catching on the other page next to it. Leave that open for a minute. I'm just okay, so now we can actually we'll glue this shut. Can everybody see what I'm doing? right there. So this is going to go on the other side. So now we have to um, okay, go like that. I'm just trying to think, do I want to um, I don't really need to cover this side because it's going to be laying on here, glued on to there. So I don't have to cover that. So that's good. And that's going that way. And that side's covered and so I just need to cover this side. Okay. Let me get rid of this. So, what do we want on here? Let's see what I have. I think I'll put this pretty lady on there. I've had her for a long, long time. I will put her there. I don't know why, but just do that and right there. The birds thinks it thinks it's spring. They have been going off quite a bit. I don't feel like I saw very many cardinals this year like normal so I don't know what the deal is I don't, I'm not gonna keep those okay let's see
why it's just enough to be off. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. So I am trim this off. I put her on right. Okay. Is that it? No, this is it. Okay. Just want to make sure that this is the right way. It's going to come down like so. Okay. Let's have a little here as long as I. Kind of trying to wait for the glue to dry so I can fold it. correctly. Just got to be on there like so. Okay. Probably should have just used a glue. bulky. That's got that buttons stuck up there. Okay, so that flips up like that. And I think I'm just going to put some of this. I could make a tuck here as well. I think I will just because somebody might want to. Hopefully that's dry. Somebody might want to tuck something in there before the end of the day. Okay. So, there we go. Now I'm thinking maybe I could put something a word or something up here, a label or something, but I'm not going to look through it right now. What I'm going to do is um, make a tag. So, this should 
be pretty easy to do. I'm wondering how this will um, ink if I put ink on the back. Yeah, that might be okay. Where's that other one? like the way these work. I don't, they don't blend at all. <laughs> Blending for me. Probably could put, um, since it won't soak through, I wonder what would happen if I squirt it. Might, um, looking for something to squirt on. Let me just, I'm going to give it just a little bit of a squirt. get it wet and so it doesn't it's not soaking through but hmm all right I just wanted to give it a try and see what happened so we'll just go with this all right so how wide is this and a half would work. Um, I have to get a straight line here. This one I put two layers on, I think, right? Yeah. Okay, three and a half up here. Yeah, let me see if that'll fit before I try to. It's pretty tight. So I'd rather have it. Go a quarter of an inch smaller on this side. Gosh, why do I having such a hard time? Did I glue something shut? remember gluing that anything I glued that down but oh I know <laughs> duh give me a break okay I don't know do you want the giant rats to show should I just get rid of that? Yeah, I think I'm just going to rip this away. Instead of a tag that's an actual tag. Okay, and then I'm going to cut this off. I'm just going to cut it off a little bit, I think. All right. Okay, that's good. All right. Now, my ink. made a 
nice sturdy backing for this. I'm impressed. And the thing I like is the fact that you can actually write on it. All right, so um, on this side, we need to put something. I had um, cut this out of the, an old document. Um, I was cutting out the inside and I had this edge and I thought, well, you know what? This edge is sort of cool. So um, I'm thinking, you'd think you could cut a little tiny piece straight. So I'm thinking I could do that one there and maybe one down here. And I thought about putting an eyelet here just to give it a little bit more at the top. Where did you go? I'm going to take this tray away and then I can't put things on it, right? <laughs> I'll still cover everything up. Okay. I'll use one of these lines on the book page. Let's see if we can get it straight. So I was trying not to let any of that document paper go to waste. If you remember when I was um, okay, That little spot there is just the natural color that it was when I when I scanned it. Let's see if I can. Okay, so now if we can find something to put in the middle. Um let me put an eyelid in it. This might be something cute for a Tim Holtz person. So. are very hard to see because they curl around really nice backs but they're hard to punch I mean they're not that hard but these are the ones I got at Hobby Lobby in the leather department for 99 cents for I think a hundred and I spray painted them they're silver okay let's see if we can find Tim Holtz um, I could do one of Mary's uh, photographs. That would be cool. This photograph would be cute. That's not hers, but I think this one is from Joey Cardmaker. Oh. I think she's a little too different color t tone. It's not right. Where's T. 
to me. Well, there's some words I need. Okay. Those shouldn't have been in that anyway. Okay, so these are the many tiny, tiny ones. These are much bigger ones. I'm sorry, the glare is probably too much. I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. These kids here might look good. They look like the right size. Let's look at them. Actually, these two also. I can have them standing there. Well, she's not going to have something to stand on. Come on, come on. That darn one piece there is not um, long enough. I wonder if I can just... That'd probably work. Just something that, you know, mounts them. Okay, so... These guys... Cute. I think I'm going to use these guys. I think they're very cute. Okay, so. These um, were hard to to frame and <clears throat> to put in that pocket thing. All right, let's give them a little ink. Is a little curled still, but I think it'll straighten itself out. nice thing about book pages is, well, if your book page is straight, you can use them to line up things, you know? It's very helpful. All right, so that's cool. Let's see. Do I have any... I always have a bunch of strings.
Let's just cord at that. Maybe it's elastic. I think I'm going to tie this here. Should have just started over. Anything else, you guys, on there? I don't think so. Come on. I don't think so. Okay. So this is going to go in here. <clears throat> Hopefully. I love that. And then she's so cute, too. So how much time have I gone? All right, we're almost done. I'm trying to think, what can I put up here? She's going on a trip. Um, I think just a word. Let me get that little word section here. She's traveling, so should I put traveler? Mm. I really like this. Stamp. Just trying to think what. I can't get my fingernail under it. That's probably the better choice. Actually, I think it looks better down there. I don't think I can use both of them. The stamp and that. Little ones are hard to pick up. I was just thinking maybe I could. Yeah. All right, I'm going to put Traveler on there to start. Probably don't need anything else. A ticket would be cute.
And that ticket is like for a movie, so that's not good. I don't know if I have any. Like tickets, train tickets, that kind of thing. some plates. These are about to fall out. Nope. Okay, well I'm going to just leave it this way. If I come across a ticket that's small enough. Oh, Here's a railroad schedule. Now, where can I put that? Up here. Okay, I like that. How convenient. A railroad schedule. Yeah, I'll just put it right on the edge so it looks like it's in the background somehow. It takes a while, but eventually you'll find something. Huh? Cute. Alrighty. So that's it for today. And I think um, I'm going to try to finish the rest of this. Um, I don't know if I should wait and keep making stuff or I guess it doesn't really matter because when I do the next trash to treasure it'll probably be another journal something like this or a folio or something right this is so weird Just didn't get it tied tight enough. There. All right. Well, maybe we'll do one more time because um, I still have just a couple pockets to fill. And then I'll do one more of these. And then I'll also do the flip through when we do that. And then you guys can um, leave comments, and um, then I can pick a winner for this cute little journal. I love it. Love, love, love it. Okay, guys, so thanks for watching. Um, have a great day, and take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.